Okay, so I have a print here going, and my filament, as you can see, is nearly run out. Now, instead of waiting for the printer to just give me an error, or get caught on the, on the roll, as you can see here, it's actually going behind it. I actually got used to the habit of actually changing it, and not changing it, uh, fusing it with another roll of filament. I just find it much more convenient to continue the print going if you fuse the two ends together. So let me just show you how I'm going to do this. So you need a candle, a lighter and your other roll obviously. So now I'm just going to pass the camera over and um, you have to unwind it. Now I left it a bit too late. Not too late because I can just unclip it from uh, here to give me a bit of working space. Just pull it down to have a roll, get the filament on. Oh, actually, what you really need, I believe, is PFTE tube, or is it Teflon? I think it's P PTFE. So this tube, uh, it does come with the Prusa machine. Uh, let me just get comfy. You do need a candle that is stationary. Without a candle, if you're doing this with uh, a lighter, it was just not really going to work. It's I practiced it quite a lot now, and I'm just going to show you how I got this pretty consistently fusing every time I need to do this. Now the only downside is, is uh, you do need to know when the filament is going to run out. So anyway, let's get this burning. And the way I'm going to fuse it is I'm only going to melt this side, the tip. So it's going to melt, you don't need to cut it, you don't need to cut this side, you just need to melt this side and then when it's uh, in the fire for around uh, a second or two, pull it straight in and then this one, this one's going to be solid so it goes right in very easily and you just want to push them together so they kind of fuse on top of each other so you don't melt this one, only this one that's going into the PFTE tube. So then. It's just going to go in like that, bam. So let me just show you. So, make sure the roll doesn't, make sure the roll doesn't uh, move. Right. Do you need to make sure you're quite comfortable. Right, so. For around uh, a second or two. Zero, one, two. Pull it in, and this one goes straight in. And then squeeze them together. Quite tight. And just leave it there for around five seconds and then try moving the PTFE tube turn it go back and there we go, they're fused the other way back in, yep, all good but now if you're unsure if that is fused what you can do is just uh, put it under the fire again for a split second don't do it for long because you can break it so after you do it for around a second, put it back in and just turn the PTFE tube. It kind of smooths it out or you can just leave it like this and just use uh, sandpaper just to make sure it's quite even and it goes into the extruder fine because now this area is slightly thicker than the rest. So anyway, so the fuse is here so let's just give it a melt for just like a split second. Bam, bam, just like that just to make sure they fuse very well feels pretty good to me shouldn't be a problem but if you are quite paranoid or worried about it getting stuck into the extruder you just want to sand it down you can feel the little area that's got a slight bump or you could use a razor blade but yeah I find this very very useful um, so you don't have to wait for the Prusa, for example, to give you an error message saying it's out of filament. It's just much more convenient this way. And you won't, don't waste any filament this way. Alright, thanks guys. See ya.